They'll be calling you a radical. Boy, did I call it again. Cassandra and Hamlet's son. Barry Antoinette has done his crowning jewel. He has named to the United States Supreme Court the lead counsel for GE, Westinghouse, Skull and Bones, Harvard Law, Chicago pro-nuclear excellence, baby. This is the pro-nuclear mouthpiece, the legal counsel for the nuclear cartel. I called it, look, everybody knew it should have been Thread. It should have been the nominee. Everybody knows it. He threw for his confirmation 97 to nothing. Everybody knew, but oh, he's Hindu. The Hindus are anti-nuclear. Everybody knew he should have been the guy. Everybody, it's unarguable. Everybody knew he's, he was the one, perfect for the job, perfect. Everybody was positioned. There'd have been no argument, no nothing. But he's anti-nuclear. Barry Antoinette, Obama's crowning jewel. Here we go. And I want to talk about this to you people in Seattle, in Oregon, have been arguing with me in Alaska. You know, look. You've been arguing with me and fighting with me the whole time about the numbers. This Bill Monroe, these people, the Seattle Times, the freaking all the news publications all over. Oh, fishing's so good, it's so great. Look it up. I mean, propagate. Look, they spent billions building up the salmon runs. They capitulated. 2010 to 2015 was supposed to be. Look, there's all kinds of articles out there. 2015 is going to be the biggest numbers in history. They're already saying about 2016. I don't listen to them. I says it's all lies because the. Retail fishing industry, you come up, you get on those boats, take these freaking serfdom, air sucking, freaking baby bombers out. Oh, go fishing, spend all this money, get drunk, stay in the hotels, whatever, throw your junk all over. Think, oh, sorry, bad fishing. I mean, the it, 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 skiers can't ski, surfers who can't skirt, surf, fishermen who can't fish. The emperor has no fucking clothes, so I only listen to the natives. I know the natives will tell me. I know they'll tell me. They've been calling me the whole time. I've been talking to them the whole five years. Kevin, the Great Pacific Genocide, as they say, we're starving. Us natives are starving, yet you have food, not the nourishment of food from the sea. They know. They know as the flesh and all the fish is white. Oh my God, just like us. Look at the flesh. Look at our bodies. Look at everything. We've lost the nitrogen. We've lost the organic. We've lost the spirit. We've lost the wolf spirit. We've lost the sun. Freaking, where'd you sleep last night, Kev? Where'd you sleep? I slept in the dead fucking pines where the sun always shines from Fukushima, Japan. Bringing star power to Earth, Livermore. Oh, they brought it. Fishing collapsed. Now listen, in Washington, by law, by law, they won't do it unless they have to. The native councils have seats on this. By law, if it goes under 25%, they have to close it. They've got to protect it or they're going to go extinct under 50%. At the same time, they're profiting. All these people all over, the Seattle media, the Oregon media, the San Francisco media, the San Diego media, all the media might, you know, not, not all of it. San Diego, some media has done some good work on sending an offering. Now listen, this is important. This is why they go to global warming. Of course, the freaking earth's heating up. I mean, anybody that says the earth's not heating up is freaking living in a fairy tale. But that's where we live as baby bombers, Echo Bird. No personal responsibility. The self entitlement is grotesque. I remember the old timers right here. Kevin, I'll be glad when freaking all these baby boomers take the field. I'm dead and gone. Self indulged, spoiled, born with the silvers. I mean, they, they think they're, they've got this entitlement. They could do anything they want to the earth. No responsibility, no accountability. Oh, just like in Turkey Point down at Dade County, freaking in the marsh, actually, we could do it. Let's go scuba diving. Get your Florida orange juice. Drink up your fresh squirrel's juice now because it's got trinium in it. Oh, that doesn't kill you. There's a cure for cancer. I could just smoke weed. I've sought, I've sought. Right there in that room, right there. McQuack D told me I had two months to live. I'd been dead by Christmas 2011. Over and over, right there. I'm looking up right here, all these houses I stuck up. My place, whatever. I mean, heartbroken, heartbroken. My life's over, you know? They're telling me it's over and over and over. I mean, it was so ugly and so sad. Thank you, Vincent Hansen, right there. Thank you, Fimbo Peterson. Thank you, all my beautiful nurses, Whitney, Melanie, freaking my PAs. Thank you, LDS Bone Marrow Cute Bone Marrow Transplant Center. Thank you for all the people that have supported this incredible activist. Thank you for the people that have stood by me and walked by my side as we've done this historical work. Thank you to all the angels, Paul, Carla, Tracy, Dana, all these people on this site that have passed from this horrible disease. Thank you, Judy, who lived right there. So many of them. Thank you. You know, as your spirit, it's inside of me. My wolf spirit as I fight cancer victim 130. Seven. Stay down, Luke. Stay down, Luke. I'm not staying down. Stay down, Luke. No, I'm not staying down. I won't stand down. So, the media, then, you know, 
I've said from day one, I've been attacked by the, you know, the fishermen. You have no clue what kind of attacks I've been under. You know, I mean, tried to kill me many, many times. I mean, you wouldn't believe some of the places I've showed up and some of the places I've ended up on this journey while sick. You know, plate accounts of 37, these doctors are like, wow, I can't believe I, I, we just watch you. I did this without a bone marrow transplant. First one they know of in the world who's willingly done this. Brian Morse did it with me. You know, we watch you, Kev. Kicked off my decade by Mike Lee. You know, I mean, what a journey it's been. Everybody fights with me, argues with me, what? Because I've just told the truth. I've just forecasted the future, the obvious. There's major meltdown, major meltdown. Don't believe them, don't believe them, don't believe them. They're lying, they're lying, they're lying. Don't believe them, they're lying. This is going to be the greatest ecological catastrophe. Look, meltdown, it's pouring in the Pacific Ocean, nuclear fission, hello. Because baby boomers, echo boomers, they have no accountability. Oh, it can't be us. It can't be all that plastic we just throw in the ocean over and over and over. Our pills that we pop. We're on so many opiums, we can't even freaking think. We're disconnected from the reality. We're disconnected from the earth. We're disconnected from our community. Johnny got his gun because I hate everybody because they're so self-indulged like little teeny children. What an insult to a baby. What an insult to a little children. I have hope in the post-ignorance generation. I have so much hope for the 35 and under. I have so much hope. So I'm hoping in April to get up to Portland and then get up to Seattle. That'll be, I need funding. I, you know, I've got to look at $13,000. I've done this over the last year. You know, try that. I mean, I have bills to pay. I don't know how I've done it. And I want to thank you, everybody who has support. Thank you so much. This is historical work. This is important work. I don't do it. It doesn't get done. You know, this is an eco side from hell. You know, we have to fight. We, we're to the point now that the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, we're so many species, so many mammals are on the verge of extinction. You know, the marine biologists and all these rats and these propagated fake scientists, all of them up, you know, they come up in grandstand, they live in their glass house, they make these things. I mean, should they all be rounded up and hung? I'm a peace activist. I don't believe in violence. But it's not my decision, you know. It's sad, the political theater that goes on, you know. And I want to say this too, this bullshit that Anonymous has gone after Trump is a lie. You want to talk, somebody wants to really get into deeply, deeply into Anonymous, why don't you come talk to me? You think that's a coincidence? You know, I lead the inaugural Million Mass March. I give the first speech, you think? No, 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 no. Hillary Westinghouse, oh, we don't like Hillary Westinghouse, Clint. Barry Antoinette, Obama, we don't like it. The Romney cartel, we don't like it. Trump, I really don't like Trump. I really can't stand Trump because he's pro-nuclear. He said at Fukushima, you know, I don't want anybody's pro-nuclear. He hurts one single person's mention anything nuclear. Bernie made a little bleep one time, says, uh, you know, moratorium, but why? Why? I mean, the dead blue well in the room? The only issue that I want to tell all you activists out there, you're all caught up and geeked up on this, that, and the other thing. And there's a lot of people doing a lot of good work, you know, but the top of the pyramid is nuclear. It's all nuclear. And this is going to mow you down and kill you. It's already, you know, I used to say it's killed freaking million people, two million people, 8,000 people. I used to think I was crazy. I used to say it all the time, five years ago. People five years from now are going to say, Kevin, I used to think you were crazy. You're not so crazy. You're not so crazy. No, I've never been crazy. For Cassandra and Hamlet had a baby. And his name is Kevin Blanche. And for, I see for miles and miles. Remember this. I was right there. Given no chance to live. None. None. Doom, gloom, just enjoy it on the way out. I had ML de Nouveau and it just hit me like one day. I'm in epic pain. It's been an epic struggle. It's been incredible five years. No chance to live. I mean, this the survival rate is this is pretty well zero. I'm alive. I love my grandchildren. I love your grandchildren. I love my children. I love all the animals of the earth. I don't want to see it all go away just for one generation of baby boomer echo boys arrogance. There's been a lot of people in the history of this earth, a lot of humans. We're going to let one freaking group of sickening, overcompensation, overconsumption creeps just take it down? No. We'll be all gone soon. That's baby boomer. We'll be all dead soon. You know, so I have hope. You know, this is a sickening, grotesque. There's no personal accountability. That's why, oh, you know, just global warming. <laughs> you know, global warming deniers. <laughs> because these people are abstract. They have no reality connection. They're ignorant. Oh, did I name it right? Post-ignorance. So I need funding. You know, we'll do what we do. 
Wow, what a historical document that. Fifth anniversary of Fukushima. Oh yeah, and that grand, grand special place that they put a nuclear reactor. All nuclear fighters on deck. Everything I said, right there in your face. You know, here they've named Barry Antoinette. Names a freaking pro nuker. Wow. Wow, when are you people going to wake skull and bones from hell? Harvard Law, the head of the snake. Cal Berkeley, Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Rockefeller's baby. Russell's baby. Stan Tuned.